Fights were just about set for it. He's approaching the ring now, and this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. Crusher's almost giving you the feeling here that he's completely indifferent to all the pressure. I mean, this is a guy that's been there, done that, and he couldn't care less about the pressures that are in front of him. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. And they are underway. Round number one of this much-anticipated scheduled eight-round bout. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Crusher showing you a little defensive skill there, able to move away from that punch. <laughs> Halfway through this round. Body shot. Clinches when he gets to the inside. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Keep moving. Gotta see those coming. And a right hand lands flush. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Rushers nailed by a huge hook. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds Listen, left. There's probably five seconds left him, before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what him. you're talking about. He can't. He's guy. chomping at the you're bid. Stronger, he's confident. Punch harder than this guy.
Here we go. Round two is underway. That's a good left hand by Crusher. Scored well up top. In moments. <gasps> wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, Good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, Did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Huh. He didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. Rushers nailed by a huge uppercut. Not much action as he just ties up. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Hello. Crusher's defense. Uh, things opened up and he was able to place the right hand well. Able to dismiss it. Solid hook. Now he brings the left hand upstairs. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Crusher's really impressing us here, Teddy, coming off that last round. I mean, he laid down a beating to his opponent, but sometimes confidence can also be an enemy in this game. Yeah, you could get a little bit of overconfidence. You could get careless. You know, you could forget where you were earlier or forget what you knew when you were coming into the ring things that you had to understand as far as defensive liabilities. He has to remember that. On his mistakes, okay? I want to see that counter hook. There you go. Make him pay for his mistakes. Okay, listen. Body and head, body and head. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell He's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Right hand downstairs. Look at that! Early on here in the round, and he's already down, and he doesn't look good at all. One, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Nice work, the left hand to the head. 
Rushers jacked up by an uppercut. Body shot. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Right to the belt line. Uppercut. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Rusher's punch didn't come close. You see him holding on. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Nice work. Nice work. Blocks that punch. He's tired! Blocks the headshot. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in this third round. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Rusher's right hand working well that time. He scored well. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. There you go. Relájate. Relájate. Relax, relax. You're okay. You're okay. Keep your hands up. Keep them up. He caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. Round number four is underway. A chance for us to look at Teddy's scorecard. And obviously, the round to circle there, you see the knockdown was scored. And that's how professional boxing is supposed to be. The guy who lands the cleaner, more effective punches, he gets an advantage. He gets an extra score. Rusher's now just trying to survive. That knockdown earlier really damaged him. But Teddy, surviving isn't the easiest thing to do when there's a tiger coming after his hunt. No, and especially when your disposition has always been to be the tiger. You're the one who's been hunting. Now, you don't know how to find the tree. You don't know how to find the cave, and you better find one. He missed with that headshot. Nothing there on the punch by Crusher. Crusher's scoring with that right hand. Keep doing what you're doing. Move your head! Muevete la cabeza! Halfway through round number four. Rusher is able to avoid that punch. A little head hunting with the right. Put the body. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Big shot. The right came clean. Rusher's showing some real cuts here. Hey, this fight was not going his way at all, but somehow he has gathered momentum. Big shot there. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot 
Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Rusher's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Nice work. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. End of the round is upon us. And we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy. What can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. Over the hump, the back end of the fight now begins. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's efforts. Rusher's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Big shot. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. He's clinching a lot here, Teddy. Now, do you think that's the best way to deal with the after effects of the knockdown? Yeah, as long as you're not reaching, as long as you're not overextending yourself to grab the guy, because then you could leave yourself open, and then you're going to, well, you're going to be on the floor again. across with a hook up top final 10 seconds of this fifth round he scored well after being hit himself carry it away you catch him you got that it's gonna happen you're gonna catch him you're gonna catch him Deep breath. We got it. Relax. Relájate. Relax. Right. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. You don't need that. Keep your hands up. All the 
eyes are on him to start this round. Crusher's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. And he just holds on there. <laughs> Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Rusher's making jab. this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually. You know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. <laughs> Halfway through round six. How about that left hand? He just missed that shot up top. Crusher's given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponent's cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot, and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you time him with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. When he misses you with a punch, counter, counter. Listen, he's done. He's done. I'm going to double up on that jab and finish off with a hook, OK? One, punch. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Good double jab by Crusher. And he engages in the clinch. a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science not just some raw savagery swinging out there look at the little subtleties here joe what he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch and then when he stops steps back makes a miss and comes right back <laughs> Way to 
blocked there at the halfway point of round seven. <laughs> Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. <laughs> Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Crusher. Seconds to go in the seventh. Don't fight this fight. Gap and move. Last round. You have this one. No need to get careless. Don't get caught. Good, good. Nice work. Listen, I want you to go downstairs and upstairs, okay? This is anybody's fight. Here we are, the start of round number eight. Teddy, you've got him up slightly, but I don't know. I'm watching this fight, and I think at any moment it could turn. Yeah, this is like in the old days, you know, the corner might break off one of those ammonia capsules, one of those smell salts, you know, in the nose of a guy. Pick him up a little bit, bring it down the home stretch. Hey, you can't use those anymore, but you can use some stern, strong words. Get going. Come on, pick it up a little bit. Don't sleep now. Nice block by Crusher. Crusher's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed, and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Open. Just a minute and a half left in the fight. <sighs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. All right, here we go. Last 60 seconds of the fight. Looking good. Very effective with the block and then the score. Crusher's clearly committed to the strategy of footwork, of movement, of staying away and staying out of trouble. Yeah, he's got plenty of air in those tires, and he's making sure that he's using them. He's spinning them around that ring. He just has to make sure that he doesn't get predictable where he's going straight back. He goes straight back, you can always time him.
Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. <laughs> Well, this was a very, very good fight. Close. a well-earned victory by Crusher. And it's nice to see when not only all three judges have it for him, but your scorecard agrees. Yeah, it is. It doesn't mean I'm going to hang out with these guys or go to dinner with them afterwards, but right now I'm going to say job well done, guys. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.